Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and some breaking and terrible news out of the bot camp as Springbok fly half Alton Yankees as well as the team dietitian Zenith Simji have both returned to South Africa have been released from the squad following a article that has appeared in the report which alleges that the two of them have been engaged um, in an affair for the last few months um, and uh, all those sort of rumors confirmed to be true by the fact that both of them have left the team. Um, quite a lot to talk about here so please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well now literally a couple of an hour or two ago a article has been published a couple of articles haven't even published where both uh, simji and yankees were alleged to have been engaging in in a in the case of yankees uh, an external marital affair because he is married with three kids and they were two were seen together at uh, i think it was two different uh, sort of guest houses um, during that sort of uh, that block up in the low part in, in Mombella um, between the, the training camp in Sabi and the, the test match in Mombella um, where the two were, were sort of caught together and it doesn't look good it doesn't look good at all you know the, the report basically saying that um, you know they, they apparently they racked up pretty big bills that weren't settled and they were seen together um, quite a lot and uh, were very much together um, in, in a romantic setting and um, yeah, it's confirmed. And I think that genuinely, I think this is the end of, of, of uh, Alton Yankee's screenwork career. You know, somebody who for years and years and years was seen as the ultimate professional, you know, copped so much abuse um, over the years. It's always been a very diverse figure from a rugby point of view. But off the field, you know, you speak to coaches, you speak to fair players. It was always for the, the ultimate professional, you know, always uh, spoken about as one of the most hardest working players in the team. Somebody who, who didn't always sort of rush to the spotlight and, and just sort of did his thing. And this year, it seems the wheels have come apart. We're not quite sure. I mean, who knows what's going on in his life? Because we saw the the incident where he, um, you know, allegedly, or well, he broke a, 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 a light on a plane where there's apparently an altercation with air hostesses. Now this affair has come up. And I think that it's, it speaks to a player who's just kind of gone off the radar and off the rails, really. And, and I don't see a way back uh, for Alton Yankees. I mean, it's, you, you cannot, for me, I cannot quantify the stupidity. And, and just why? You know, we sit here just saying, why? You've got all the talent in the world. You've got the world at your feet. You're a Rugby World Cup winner. British and Irish Lions Series winner. And you go and have an affair with the Springbok dietitian within the squad. Why? You know, it's, it's just, I mean, there's so much to unpack here. I mean, the fact that he is a, I mean, he's a public hero. He's, he's a Springbok. He's, he's somebody that we've, you know, you, you put in a pedestal as, as a Springbok. All players sort of put in a pedestal. And, and, you know, the old saying, don't meet your heroes, you don't even need to meet him at this moment because we've just seen exactly what he's all about in the last few months. Um, and it's incredibly frustrating because, first of all, you know, the Springboks lose a very important player in their car. We don't have a lot of fly in the Springbok system. You know, we've lost power for the rest of the rugby championship. And uh, I think Alton Yankee's probably set to start both matches against Argentina at 10. And now we're going to have to see Damien Willemsen back at 10 for both matches because he's the only option. We're going to have to look at bringing in a fly half. Um, and I think that this is his career over. I don't see a way back for him and um interesting enough the, the press release says that no team protocols were breached um which means that obviously first of all in terms of when they were staying there they were obviously allowed to be outside the Springbok camp um so it wasn't the case of they were sneaking off away when they were supposed to be at the team hotel for example and that's what the press release would indicate um, and also it will indicate that there is no sort of rules uh, preventing sort of relations between players and management i mean it's incredibly unprofessional so shouldn't be doing it but i mean they said that, that, that with, with the media release saying that there were no team protocols breached it means that they haven't done anything wrong with them a systematic thing um but he's married with three kids you know and and not split up so you, be, you can't be having these sort of figures in in the camp and it's incredibly sad for for Springbok fans for lions fans to see a downfall of a player who has had a really good career i mean he was he was voted the 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 Super Rugby player of the decade for what he did at the Lions. And he, for me, had started finally sort of really settling into, um, you know, Springbok colors. I thought he had a really good uh, season last year and, and was going to get an opportunity now to show what he has. And now he's just thrown that all away. And you, you can't be sorry for him because he brought it all upon himself. Um, so it's, it's a bit of a disaster. And it's the last thing the Springboks need right now going into, you know, two really important matches to have this. So I think they've done the right thing where they've sent them away and basically said, you guys are off. You guys are out of here. We need to focus. We need to do our thing. You guys got sort out for rubbish. Um, I don't really see a way back for either of them back into the box system. Um, and I think that it's 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 a proper proper uh, fall from grace.
from both for both of them, you know, and and it's just it's just sad that players and 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 and, and people who have the world at their feet throw it away for for what really, you know. Um, so it's sad. It's incredibly sad. Very big scandal. I mean, sort of wait to see how this will play out. No doubt that'll be a bit of a, a cloud over the preparations this week, which is the last thing that we must need. I really would have just wanted a week fully focused on this weekend from a selection point of view. Again, as I said, he probably would have been set to start this weekend. And all of a sudden, that's not going to happen. Um, so absolute disaster from a spring planning point of view. And uh, But you just said, you can't feel sorry for him. He's brought it upon himself. He's made his bed. He's got he's to he's lay it now. And, um, you know, as I said, there are... We thought there were rumors, but the fact that they have been uh, sent home would, would imply that they are true. And um, what can what more can you really say? Let me know what you think about the situation down in the comments below. Will he ever play for the box again? Let me know if you think so down in the comments. Please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.